Folks, it's 3.30 in the afternoon, Saturday afternoon on Sounds of the Caribbean. That means it's time for us to visit Janet's Kitchen Man. And joining us as she does every Saturday is Janet. And uh, the holidays are upon us, Janet. Uh, what do you have for us this week? Well, Keith, this week we're doing our Jamaican sorrel, our traditional Jamaican Christmas drink. You're talking about sorrel? Sorrel. <laughs> rich, red, and flavorful sorrel. Yes, man. Well, we're all ears. Tell us about sorrel. Well, sorrel is a, a leafy herb, um, so it's a vegetable. Um, we, use, we typically use the dried sorrel. And we boil that with ginger, uh, cloves, and you can throw in different um, spices like lemon peels or orange peels and things like that. Mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. you sweeten it. Um, some people choose to serve it with uh, white rum, Jamaican white rum. Right. Um, so if you can take the alcohol, you can serve it that way over ice, or you can do it without the alcohol mm -hmm. and serve it warm as well. Now, when I was growing up... Um the, the word was that sorrel was only picked in Christmas time, or in Christmas time in December. Is that so? Yes, it, it is. Most people, that is why only a certain time of the year you'll, you'll, you'll find it. Mm -hmm. um, it usually gets picked close to this time of the year. And mm -hmm. you have it from, say, the beginning of December through sometime in January. It's usually just that uh, bit of time throughout right, the right. year. And, and, of course, it's indigenous to all the Caribbean islands and even from Africa, I think. Exactly. It's actually originated, set to originate in Asia, but mm -hmm. you can find it throughout the Caribbean, uh, Germany, France, Africa. I know Trini Trinidadians call it uh, something else. And yeah, yeah, yeah. other places have different names for it, yeah. but you can find it in Africa, yeah. the Caribbean, and places like France and Germany. Yeah. Mm. All right, so sorrel is normally one of the things you get with, like, with your, with your black cake, too, right? You can't have black cake without sorrel. No, you cannot, <laughs> and definitely not this time of the year. It's yeah. like, again, part of our Jamaican traditional uh, Christmas dinner. You have your yeah. typical, you know, dinner items, your oxtail, your curry goat, your rice and peas with gungu peas. And mm -hmm. then for dessert, you're having your rum cake. Yes, you yes, yes. You can't have your rum cake unless <laughs> you're having your sorrel. Yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah. you enjoy a, a, a nice slice of rum cake and your sorrel after dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so how do you go about making this sorrel thing? Again, it's uh, dried. You get the dried sorrel. You boil it. And you can uh, crush some uh, ginger. Um, like sort of beat the ginger with a with a glass bottle mm -hmm. so it's nice and crushed mm -hmm. and then you put it in with the sorrel uh, lots of water mm -hmm. and boil it for about 45 minutes or so mm. and uh, you can boil it with a clove you can put some orange peels in there or lemon peels uh, different things even some allspice yeah and then once you boil it you let it sit and then you have to strain it off and you squeeze out the uh, sorrel leaves because now they are loosened up. They're no longer dry. So you can squeeze those out and get oh. the last bit of flavor <laughs> yeah, and yeah, juice yeah. out of that. You yeah. let it cool and you sweeten it with uh, cane sugar. Mm. Okay. And then again, if you're doing, if you're serving it with the rum, you can just add your rum when you bottle it. Yeah. Or you can just add it when you serve it. And sorrel, because if you make it with the rum and you leave like some of the allspice berries in there, yeah. it'll last for weeks. Yes, yes. Yeah. I was just about to ask if, if you can hold on to your bottle of sorrel for a while. Oh, yeah. Your sorrel lasts weeks. Yeah. Especially if you put that rum in there. That's right. <laughs> okay. Uh, I know that uh, most, most stuff that we, we make out of Jamaica um, has all kind of good health benefits. I mean, my grandmother used to tell me about, about surracy, about all kind of stuff. So in terms of sorrel, what are some of the health benefits that, um, that may be derived from it? It's interesting. When we, we're eating and enjoying these things, we don't necessarily think of the, the health true, uh, true, portion yeah. of it. But true. a lot of the things that we consume, that we grew up, you know, eating and enjoying. Mm -hmm. uh, when I've done my research and you go back and you're like, oh my gosh, this mm -hmm. is so healthy for you. And sorrow is in fact, you know, one of those things. Mm -hmm. um, it's deep red, as you know, and usually any food or vegetable that is rich in color like that yes, is yes, very yes. good for you. It's loaded with antioxidants. Mm -hmm. And so sorrow 
uh, has vitamin C, very rich in vitamin C, mm -hmm. very rich in phosphorus, mm -hmm. and something called flavonoids, which is antioxidant. Flavonoids, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And those help fight inflammation. Yes. So, yes. An, again, another thing that you're so used to enjoying and eating and partaking in that is just so good for you. It's chock full of vitamins. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I know my granny used to tell me that um, even if you have pressure, you know, they didn't say high blood pressure or hypertension. She said, if you have pressure, man, you drink some sorrel. That, that's right. <laughs> Calms you way back down, right? Yeah. Like, listen to granny. Granny, granny knows what she's talking granny about. Granny knows the deal. <laughs> granny is good. Yeah, yeah. So, all right. Um, it's Christmas time, and I know that Scotch Bonnet will be um, in in operation, so you're going to be having some sorrel there too, I suspect. That's right. We're going to feature sorrel all week long uh, this mm -hmm. coming week, the week of Christmas. Uh, we have Selected Jerry coming back for another installment <laughs> of uh, our live DJ on yeah. uh, Christmas. On the 23rd. The day before Christmas. Yeah, yeah. So that's the Friday. So we'll mm -hmm. be doing that. We'll have our original rum cake and we'll enjoy some sorrel. Okay, good, good. Looking forward to that. In fact, we're going to be paying you a visit. So, um, we're looking forward to that. Um, Janet, is, as we always do, uh, let the folks know uh, where you are and how they can get a hold of you. That's correct. Scotch Bonnet's Restaurant right here in Medford, right on Main Street, 20 South Main Street. Uh, for more information about all our uh, services, visit us online, www.scotchbonnet.com. Folks. Janet, Chef Janet Davis on the phone with us as she does every Saturday at 3.30. If it's Scotch Bonnet, it's got to be good. Right. If it's Scotch Bonnet, it's definitely spicy. Janet, have a Merry Christmas, man, and we'll see you. You too, Keith. You too, Jerry. All right. Take care now. Bye, guys.